I'm Krista Dayglow. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm a mind-body focused therapist, and I specialize in working with patients that have struggled with trauma, with chronic health conditions, and disordered eating. I was introduced to SGB about two years ago when my client's partner was interested in him looking at undergoing the procedure. When I heard about SGB, I was really excited because I know as a clinician, I was taught all about how to help patients with their thoughts and cognitively how to work through trauma. But often as a clinician, I see that trauma is stored in our bodies and that our nervous system often speaks to us before our thoughts even have a chance to catch up. And and so for me, when I heard that there was a procedure that could lower somebody's sympathetic response that then allows them to do the work in therapy, I was ecstatic to learn more. And that's when I was introduced to SGB and I went through the provider portal training myself. When I was being trained on the provider trainings and I was seeing the testimonials of people saying that their anxiety went from a 10 to zero, my patient went from a 10 to zero. And when I think about any other research, intervention, approach I can use in, in therapy, there's, there's little that I can say gives that yield of result. And so it feels a little bit like EMDR to me that it feels almost magical when I describe it to patients um, in that way of that it really can, it can reshift neuropathways. This can reshift the nervous system pathways the same way that I see EMDR has been shifting for people. I think it's really important for us mental health providers to stay on top of what is the most cutting edge, scientifically researched interventions that are out there. And it's our duty to be able to, to research and look into seeing what can help our clients that maybe we've never even thought of or heard of before. It's just it's exciting. It's very exciting to be at the, at, you know, being on the forefront of this cutting edge type of therapy because I see it as something that can really shift the way that we've been looking at trauma and the way that we look at how how trauma is stored in our bodies and how it doesn't have to continue to be stored in our bodies any longer. When talking with my patients about the procedure, you know, I think there's a lot of fear and anxiety around things actually working and things actually lasting and sticking in their body because Maybe they've tried therapy for a long time, they've done talk therapy, they've done groups, they've journaled, they've tried challenging their thought patterns. And so people can sometimes be really scared to try different alternative treatments or different things that are just out there. Maybe they're not even alternative like SGB or newer maybe out there like SGB is. And so to many of my patients, you know, we talk about that, of course, there's going to be a fear towards anything that's unknown. And the more that we can learn about it and the more that we can prepare, the more that we can understand and educate, the more that that fear and anxiety is going to decrease, the more that we understand what is actually happening in the body and making sense of why this procedure could help them. When my patient was going in for the procedure, I was feeling that kind of excited nervousness. And I think about this as what bravery is, is that is being excited and being nervous and doing the thing anyways. And so for me, I know I was excited and nervous for my patient, for him doing that brave thing that he was getting ready to do. But I know for me, I was having some of some of that anticipatory anxiety too, of like, wow, we've done so much work. He's so nervous. I really hope this works. What if it doesn't work for him? What will our treatment plan be? How will we help support him through this? Right. But also that really big excitement of hope that, wow, maybe he'll really get to see something different. Maybe my patient will get to see something different that we haven't gotten to see before. So that just really excited nervousness. I think of standing at the top of a water slide, getting ready to go. He had said, he had watched all the videos that had said, you know, of, of people giving their testimonies that their anxiety had gone from a 10 to a one or a zero. And he said, I can't believe it, but the minute that it happened, the second afterwards is that my anxiety went from a 10 to a zero. And he was still in disbelief that it really truly did happen in his body that way, just like other people's testimonies had been. My patient um, had his procedure about six months ago and 
currently at this time, he has been able to do things that he hasn't been able to do in a very long time, like slow down his life to garden outside and go for drives with his partner um, up into the mountains and have picnics and slow down his daily kind of stressful life, even though things are still stressful, he's able to really incorporate the work that we've done and his body is matching that within doing movement more, being able to enjoy being outside, being able to enjoy picking up old hobbies that he hadn't done before, um, you know, for several years and finding just more moments of relaxation that he gets to incorporate the rest of the work that we've done around his trauma. Since learning about the SGB treatment, I definitely see this as a way of when I when I see somebody that's stuck within a trauma response, that they're wanting to make progress, but maybe we're staying on the surface level of, of daily habits and daily stressors instead of being able to get to the trauma of where they're at because they're, they're really fearful of being able to go to that. So for a patient that might be feeling anxious about undergoing the procedure, I would validate that of course they're feeling anxious. Anything that is new and unknown to us is scary to us. And like many of us have experienced in life is that sometimes even though things are scary, sometimes they're worth it. Like going down a water slide it might be scary when we're sitting at the top of that water slide, not knowing how we're going to feel going through it. But at the bottom, knowing that even though it was scary, it might've been worth it. In the end. You know, we might use some mindful mindfulness coping skills or meditations like visualizing what the procedure is going to feel like afterwards how their the next day is going to feel what their what they may feel after the procedure in regards to their own mental health or how their anxiety feels in their body i might also help support them through talking with their family on what to expect and helping give them some language on wording on how they want their family to approach them prior to post from the surgery, what kinds of things that they're hoping to look for, but also maybe giving some some direct quotations to their family or some direct um, ways for them to speak to their family about. For those of you out there that are survivors of trauma in whatever way, shape or form your trauma may have come in, if someone is curious about whether SGB is worth the investment, I would say to them that Anything that can get to the root of what may be causing us distress is worth it because of the ripple effects that it can give to all the other things in our life. So for a patient that's gone through the SGB procedure, I would recommend that they continue coming in and working through whatever it is that created that traumatic response in their body. Most of the time, the trauma in our body gets stuck inside of our bodies and it creates a nervous system that can get stuck in loops. And although the SGB procedure is going to allow somebody's body to get unstuck, it doesn't mean that we aren't human and that we won't get stuck in the same loops and the same patterns. And so this is where therapy can come into play of making sure that the SGB procedure lasts and that you're able to follow up with the way that your body feels and following through and breaking those cycles within your daily habits and within your daily life. I just want to let you know that there are things that really can shift and change for you, that you're not stuck, you're not trapped in this life after trauma, that there are therapy approaches, there are physical, somatic things that we can do to help you get to the new life that you want for yourself.